Hi everyone, we'll be getting started in a few minutes as I want to give people a chance to join. Hi everyone, my name is Charles and I'm part of our product marketing team here at Facebook. Today, I'd like to talk to you about some of the trends we're seeing with people watching video on our platform and talk about how we're building ad products like in-stream video ads to address how marketers can reach people in the new ways they watch. Before we dive into these topics, I'd like to cover how we think about building for video and how we're committed to investing across the ecosystem so everyone benefits, from people to creators and marketers. First, we want to ensure that people can discover long-form content and have a good ad experience that is relevant to them. In order to keep our community informed and entertained with this content, we need to help publishers and digital creators monetize. And we need to provide advertising opportunities at scale that allow marketers to tell longer, more complex stories. First, let's dive into how people are consuming video. Mobile has trained people to focus, choose what's relevant, consume what matters, and move on. Mobile has proven that we no longer have the right to disrupt. Instead, as marketers, we have to earn people's attention. And we know that what's getting attention on mobile is video. People are sharing and consuming video in unprecedented volumes, with mobile being the main place for this consumption. Video views on tablets and smartphones now make up more than half, 50.6% to be exact, of all video views, which was only at 15% in 2013. And this trend will continue. Cisco estimates that video will be 75% of all mobile data traffic by 2020, compared to over half now. But not all viewing behavior is the same people tend to watch video in different settings. Consumption of video has been evolving, from traditionally lean back settings in front of a TV to increasingly dynamic bites throughout the day on mobile. Now, with improved connectivity and access to longer form content, mobile video consumption can also be a planned viewing experience in a lean back environment. And to bring that concept to life, you can see a few examples here across the Facebook family of apps and services. Over 100 million hours of video are watched every day on Facebook. That's more video than you could watch in 11,000 years. We have been building video experiences for people across this spectrum in newsfeed, like vertical video, stories, 360, and live. Recently, we've been focused on working with publishers and digital creators with longer content aimed at planned viewing with our launch of Watch. Watch is a new platform for shows on Facebook. Shows are made up of episodes, live or recorded, and follow a theme or storyline. To help you keep up with the shows you follow, Watch has a watch list, so you never miss out on the latest episodes, as well as a Discover tab to help you find new shows. Today, this experience is only available in the US, but we look forward to bringing it to more people in the near future. So now that we've covered some of the products we invested in for people on our platform, let's take a look at what we're creating across our video advertising solutions to reflect the way people consume video on mobile. Just like our consumer products, our ad solutions map directly to the full spectrum of consumption behavior, with feed ads addressing short, on-the-go, ephemeral and immersive formats that get people to lean forward, and our new in-stream offerings addressing traditionally longer, lean-back consumption behavior. Let's take a deeper look at in-stream ads. Publishers and creators can insert ad breaks into videos that are longer than 90 seconds on Facebook. Ad breaks are then filled with in-stream ads using Facebook audience targeting, which means that if you and I are watching the same video but have different interests, we may see a different in-stream ad within that same ad break. In-stream ads travel around Facebook with the content they were inserted into. So these ads can appear in watch, newsfeed, or even in videos that are shared on someone's wall if the publisher had inserted an ad break into it. In-stream ads are 5 to 15 second, non-skippable, mid-roll video ads and the majority of them are viewed with the sound on. InStream gives marketers the ability to deliver a brand message, drive consideration, or tell a more complex story to people who are actively engaged and watching longer form content on Facebook. So now that we've covered where InStream ads appear, let's talk about the content on our platform from publishers and creators that is eligible for an ad break insertion. Here are a few of the publishers that are eligible for these ad breaks. 
These are digital properties that people know and love. And these companies are experienced at distributing across multiple digital platforms, but still haven't owned and operated digital home. Creators are digital, social, and video first. Their home is the digital platforms where they distribute their content. They have large, loyal, and often younger followings. This is just a small sample of the publishers and creators that we have in our Instream Ad Breaks program. And this list will continue to grow as we expand into various markets. While Instream is available globally, most delivery will occur in the countries we've been onboarding publishers and creators into our AdBreaks program. We're planning on expanding our network of high quality vetted partners globally throughout the remainder of the year. An Instream placement is also available on the audience network. The audience network enables you to expand the power of Facebook advertising to reach more people on high quality websites and apps off of Facebook. Today, Audience Network's video offering predominantly consists of mid-roll and pre-roll inventory, that is 5 to 127. Today, Audience Network's in-stream video offering consists of pre-roll and mid-roll inventory that accepts 5 to 120 second length videos. We know that on mobile, people prefer shorter video ads that are 15 seconds or less, and 75% of ad impressions in the in-stream ad placement are viewed to completion through the audience network. Here's a look at some of the publishers that are available in the audience network. Here's a look at some of the publishers that are available through the audience network. We also know that on these placements, context could matter and understand that marketers won't control over where their ads appear. So here's a bit more about our approach to brand safety. At the top of the pyramid is our community standards, which have been in place for years and dictate what is allowed or not allowed on our platform. These apply to people using our platform, advertisers, and publishers and content creators. In the middle is our monetization eligibility standards, which were introduced to provide clear guidance around the types of publishers and creators that are eligible to earn money on Facebook and the kind of content that can be monetized. These apply to our placements that generate revenue for publishers, in-stream video, instant articles, and the audience network. We also plan to increase visibility by allowing marketers to see where their ads could run through pre-campaign publisher lists, and by providing post-campaign publisher lists in the coming months. On the bottom of the pyramid are our brand safety controls. We put these in place to give advertisers confidence and control over where their ads appear. Let's talk more about those. We currently offer the following tools for brands to have more granular control about where their ads run. Placement controls allow advertisers to opt out of specific placements like instant articles, in-stream videos, or the audience network if they do not want to run in these environments. Category blocking gives advertisers the ability to block certain sensitive categories of content in which they don't want their ads to be seen across the audience network, instant articles, and in-stream video for all objectives. And these are done on the content level, not the publisher level. Pre-campaign publisher lists let advertisers see a complete list of where their ads could run. They can then use this list to manage their block lists. Domain, app, and page block lists allow advertisers to upload a list to block ads from delivering on certain websites, apps, or pages. These lists can be found in business manager settings under block lists. So, how do you get started? Just make sure that in-stream videos on Facebook and the audience network are selected. If your creative is eligible, it will run, and results will be broken out by placement in your reporting. Finally, I'd like to recap some of the things that we've covered. First, we're invested in creating an ecosystem that works for everyone, people, creators, and marketers. People are watching video in different ways, short video on the go, and longer videos in a lean back setting. We're working to help publishers and creators with monetization in order to attract premium content onto our platform. Marketers have an early opportunity to reach audiences engaged in longer content with in-stream video ads both on and off Facebook. And we've added more controls and increased visibility into where ads will run.